news Tell me why the sky's blue Tell me why this money is green Now look please Tell me why I do these things To make tea lying yeah, at me They kick me out of church Cause I just don't listen Always fall asleep when the preacher is preaching Not my fault I do love God But on Saturday nights I be all up on God Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to another episode of The Wild Oose, your number one podcast that helps you pass time. And how do I do that? I do that by bringing my oosos like Afa Uso on the pod. And also, we also like to bring up entrepreneurs, content creators, small business owners, and just anybody with a career. You know what I'm saying? Just bring them on the platform, shine a light of that us on mourns too. You know, we got something to say. Just share it to the world, man. Afoso, man, thank you for coming in the platform, bro. Hey, man, thank you, man. It's an honor. Yeah. And before we carry on, man, before I forget, this episode is uh, sponsored by nobody. So the only way we get, we keep the lights running, you know, we got merch. As you can see the hat I got on, the t-shirts, you can find it at our website, www.yus, which is W H Y. UCE.com and everything's uh, put down on the uh, descriptions and stuff like that, bro. But man, Oos, it's been a while, yeah, it bro. It is. <laughs> right? I know, man. I, I think we only talked like maybe once or twice on the Wee Fobs. Check out the Wee Fobs, by the way, y'all. Shout out to the Wee Fobs. And then after that, I think you uh, probably benefited off the follow-up, follow-ups, bro. And you kind of <laughs> went off from there it was <laughs> yeah and then uh the, the, everything just went uh got busy with the day jobs man yeah just talking with boy Zeno, um freaking last week i think it was last month yeah mm-hmm. i think it was the last time i heard from him and it was just like like yeah man whenever you're ready i know you know he's always man he's always ready man i just told him I was like ah yeah i mean whenever we can make that happen you know i know it was, but you know I brought you on the platform, bro, because I, you know, I find your yourself interesting, bro. You know what I'm saying? Educating our our coconuts, man. What you got going on with you, uh, on that side in Hawaii? By the way, my oos is out there at the 808 Hawaii. <laughs> Aloha, yes, uh, from the Hula Land, man. What I got going on, man, dude? Uh, what you call? Uh, where where do I begin, man? I was like, um, what I do for a living uh, aka day job right i mean mm-hmm. I, I work for the bank of hawaii i'm a engineer maintenance technician <laughs> basically what we do is just build things fix things and make things you know just to make the bank properties you know good uh on sundays uh or usually on the weekend depending on the events man i do the craft fairs um or swap meets the the, the famous swap meet here in um Oahu here in Hawaii, where everybody loves to come, especially the tourists that come to visit. The only main little football stadium that shut down. Uh, people go there just to buy things, you know, from the market, you know, cheap stuff that mm-hmm. are really valuable. You know, and I, I go there, I sell my e lava lovers. Sometimes, usually uh, my tuna dips, man. You saw more tuna dip, man. Just follow me on Instagram where, you know, we get our, our tuna from back home, yeah. man. Just I just mix up my my own different flavoring, add my little sauce to it, and just you know, sell them in different flavors: uh, original flavor, um, spicy, and smoked. Three flavors that people in who you love. Yeah. And buy some. Do you guys uh, order like where you can order online and stuff like that? I was I was shipping out some some of my dips in the mainland, you know, to several of my cousins. Uh, you know, I just want to test out the waters where because you know um, it has a shelf life. So I was trying to test the tuna dips, you know shipping from here to the mainland mm-hmm. right because you know going overseas and all that trying to see if it's still fresh you know all that and uh according to my cousins and my friends in cali just cali alone it was so good so i'm just like okay now it's all about just trying to get that type of packaging you know where i can get more of the dips to ship to farther places and it's just like it's it's all about the test of time man i just you know um especially where you at man and hopefully my tuna can stay fresh Funny story, I had one of my aunties. She tried out. She's like, "What the hell is this?" I was like, "Okay, whatever, auntie." So she, you know, just support, right? We gotta mm-hmm. love the family. So my auntie ordered a few, and I forgot about her order, and it was in my refrigerator for like three months. So you not, and I was just like, "Ah, oh, it was like, auntie, I'm sorry, I I had your tuna dips in three months. I'll make a, a new batch." And she's like, "No, let me just see what it is, dude." Open it up, 
she did the whole thing. She ate it with the crackers and all that. She was like, oh, my God, it's still good. I was like, what? I was like, okay. Now I know I have at least three months shelf life for my dips. <laughs> now, is it yeah. frozen or is it like, you know, in a jar? Um, it's in a – dude, you know, like those dip um, containers, those plastic the, containers? The plastic ones. The, yeah. yeah. Yeah, from the, like the dip chain. Like yeah, yeah, exactly. Like those regular ones, man. Like there's a store over here, man. Shout out to them. Like, man, we just they support local. We just go to them and then I just freaking buy in bulk, dude. Buy, buy in bulk and then like eight ounce containers. Mm-hmm. Just fill them up. Yep. Damn, where'd you come up with the idea of a dip, bro? This is you talk about dips where you can eat crackers, chips, whatever you want to use as a dip, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly, man. So, um, you know, man, we get those tuna cases, man, from um, from American Samoa. Oh and yes, then, uh, yes, man, uh, man, I love. Shout out to my mom, man. She she sends those like every other month, man. And I think uh, this was like, I would say maybe four or five years ago, three, maybe I don't know. This was before COVID, definitely, or maybe during or maybe during COVID. It happened at one of my homegirls' party at the beach, and she, you know, like. I forgot to bring some food and I was just like, wait, I got some tuna dips in my car. So I just freaking cracked open the can, got mayo, and I was just like adding up some recipes. And I was just like, okay, this is what we used to do at home. So I was just mixing it up, mixing yeah, it up. Yeah. And then, dude, I had a bowl. And then next thing you know, like, I just put it on the table. And everybody's all like, what's that? I was like, oh, it's my own little, you know, my little tuna. I just called it my tuna mix, like my little tuna mix. He was like, that looks like a dip. I was like, well, yeah, you, you can call it whatever you want. Eyes wide open, like, dude. Did you make this? I was like, yeah, sort of. They're like, I was like, yeah, we eat that normally, man, back home in Samoa, man. They're like, as a sandwich and stuff. They're like, dude, what? And I guess, you know, man, if you tried our tuna, even though if it's in the can, it's way better than the tuna that you that you're eating out there in the mainland, you know, like <laughs> I agree. out in the shows. Yeah, you gotta try it, folks. And I, I tell you, man, there's there are so many times, man, I give like I gift it to my coworkers and my friends. And dude, like I hear stories where they clear out their shelves from all those bumblebee tunas and all those whatever tunas that mm-hmm. crap people, crap cans, whatever they call it. And they, you know, they feed it to their cats. They give it away and they just come to me. They're just like, dude, when are you getting the next shipment? I was like, uh, of what? They're like, of that tuna, man, that, that tuna that you got, that Samoan tuna. I was like, oh, yeah, I just let you know, man. You know, whenever my mom says it to me, I was like, and then, dude, like, they'd be like holding up like a $20 bill, $50 bill. I was like, because I want two or three cases, man. Let me know. And I'm just like, chicken, like, ching, ching, ching. Like, mm, okay, all right. That was like a little side hustle onto the thing, you know, going onto the tuna dip. Yeah, but, yeah. You know, I mean, back to that story at the party, you know, as people were eating it, then, you know, the main birthday girl, my homegirl, she was just like, oh. And then I think one of her uncles or cousins was like, dude, that thing is good. That thing is killers. I was like, you know what? I was like, you ever think about selling that? And I was just like laughing. You know, we're just like, you know, drinking at yeah, a party. I was like, <laughs> nah, 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 man. It's just something we just, you know, I just dabble in. And he's all like, I'll tell you what. You make cans of those, man. You make dips like those. I'll buy it from you. I was like, really? But yeah, man, you make stuff like that, man. I'll pay big money for that. You, you don't know, man. Like, I've never eaten this type of tuna in a long time. Or I've never eaten any kind of tuna. And I was looking at him seriously. I was just like, Really? I was like, yeah, man, I don't know what you put in this, man, but it just made it look good. Like, I'm going to throw away all my tuna that I eat to eat this. I was like, I'll tell you that now. And I was like, man, stop, you know, with me, man. You For real? Mm-hmm. And he's like, he's like, all right, whatever. You know, we had a party. You know, we're drinking, all that. So I was like, and then I gave him my number. And next thing you know, man, the first order, <laughs> I, was, I, I would call it the first demo order. Mm-hmm. You know, he was like, so, hey, man, so what? I was like, you will give me some of those? And I'm just like looking at my phone like, Oh, this guy's really serious. And then, dude, from there, it just trickled on from there, man. Like, you know, ordering from, you know, giving it to relatives, to, you know, to friends, you know, yeah, man. So it just became like a little hit. So, yeah, on the islands. <laughs> on the islands, man. So, is there something that you're looking to pursue and keep pushing out more? Or is it just still in the, uh, like, you're still within the, you know, what they call that, the beta testing? You know, it's kind of like, both and both beta testing and pushing out because like definitely, you know, I would definitely like to push that, you know, and I know I get a lot of, you know, you get a lot of 
help from entrepreneurial friends, man, that just told me, he's like, dude, you ever talk about going into the grocery stores? You know, things like that. Correct. And to me, you know, my mind is always open, man. And I'm just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, um, you know, trying to get to that platform, but, you know, just trying to make time for that. It's the, that's that's the only thing, right? It's just it's so hard. But, but so far right now, man, like people order it when they can. And I just post it out and we, we just go from there, man. And I, I know there are some some of the Usos, man, from um, like New Zealand and Australia. They're just like, dude, when can you ship a box? I was like, a box? Now, okay, now hold up, man. I, now you're getting going too far. Now they're like, no, we're serious. And, you know, it, it's just it's just getting to the point where it sounds amazing, you know, coming from that from that end. And it's like, but you definitely, you know, I'm trying to prep it to the point where it's valuable. To go to, to go the, to to go the distance, you know. So gotcha that it will make it. But I mean, yeah, yeah, yo, auntie, yeah. uh, you said you left her stuff for three months, bro. So yeah, that's that's cool stuff, though, bro. Like I really exactly. Want to, so I use I'm that story every time, man. I use that story every time, man. When I tell people, they're like. You know, like they'd be like, "Oh, uh, really?" I was like, "How how fresh are y'all tune?" You know, you get those, man. You just like, I'm mm-hmm. just like, well, I, three months, man, at least three months. And then they're like, "Really, three months up?" And I'm just like telling them, "I was like, look, there are some things in the stores that are dips. They don't even last that long." Like you know, I've been going, like you know, I, I I observe, and you know, you know, man, like us foodies, man. I go to the grocery store, and I'm just like, okay, my tuna dip were to be sold in this store. Where would you be putting my my stuff? And you know, you, you get all these different kinds. I'm I'm surprised, man. You get all these. There's a carrot dip. All these different. I'm just like, yeah. And it's like one month, two months. That's the most. And I'm just like, dang. You know, like, man. You know what, man? I was like, if I can just find an investor or find some business partner to partner up with, that mm-hmm. you know, it's like, like the big food ladder, like the freaking, you know, like the big. Like maybe in a Walmart, if I can find something like that, man. Oh, dude, yeah, that would, I'd be blessed, man. So you know, right now, man, it's just um, just hitting it locally, you know, while trying to grow, kind of internationally in a way. So yeah, man, just trying to keep that going. And man, you know how it is, man. Living over here in paradise, man. <laughs> yeah. You gotta you gotta find some type of hustle, man. Because if you don't, man, you just I don't know. You just either you don't stay live with mom and dad but you know not not to knock on anything but just you know i just got to find a way to make it out here so yeah so uh, have you ever considered shark tank you know man um no i you know i i i love watching that man shark tank and sometimes mm-hmm. i'm just like you know um no nah, man i did i would have to but i think it's just uh maybe the little doubts you know that creep up in your mind and yeah. everything but at the same time you know it's just like man you know you wonder i wonder if i wonder if you know you know how it is man you gotta have your numbers right uh exactly yeah Stuff Actually, you like know you get that. kevin hart <laughs> you get kevin hart putting you on the spot yo uso what the hell you know man you it, what what you sell this for what and i'm just like mm. Yeah, man. <laughs> Have you ever, um, are there any like, you know how John Acapo knows uh, Tanawai Reed? Anybody like that, like celebrities, you know, where you kind of like get the, at least the word out there? And, you know, I've networked with the, the people that know them, right? Like, okay. And, and, you know, those guys, I know those guys, especially the, the Reed family, it's a big family, right? That's mm-hmm. uh, Tanawai Reed, man. They are good friends with my friends. Here and obviously he's a cousin of the rock and he's like literally in the ear over the other side of the island but mm-hmm. he does so much things with my friends and you know sometimes it's like you know in a respectful way you know how we are man. Some we, more. Just, we just start downfall. we just wait we just, exactly we just wait for, we just wait for our time right we don't we don't want to be like hey, yo yo dude try my tuna man because i know you and the, the rock will love it yeah but no it's just like nah man it's like you know even though a lot of people push it you know a lot of people suggest yeah. try to give this to a celebrity and it's like you know man um I'm down for it, but you know, like, say you're not desperate. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like we, we, we would love to sell this. We would love to hustle this to the, to the big folk as what we call it to the popular folk. But at the same mm-hmm. time, you know, it's like, we're just going to keep on going, you know? Yeah. And if it, it does hit to that point, I was, I was like, Hey man, we'll count the blessing. It comes. What's the, uh, Fausi, right? You seen that one, the Fausi one that you see on, on Instagram. It's like going hit pretty viral on TikTok. It's the Tarot Fausi. I forgot what they're called. 
You see oh, really? that one? I, I think I seen one of the videos of that, man. Yeah, and, and it, like, it oh. was like a, it went viral because I think it was like a, an Asian a woman, shout out to her. And just the way she was just exact, you know, sampling the product, man, I forgot what it's called. And I apologize, yeah. folks. I just, it just came across I, I, the power of social media is what I'm getting at, you know? I mean, why yeah, is it such a small platform, bro, that hopefully our stuff hits one of the shorts hits and they can actually check it out themselves. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. And um, so me and my best friend, man, we partnering up that, you know, that we usually sell that swap meet. We doing, uh, we doing our first food wagon. You know, trying to get the Samoan mixed with Filipino and local food cuisine here in Hawaii. We call Making it a fusion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we call it Uso Ono, as in, yeah. like you know, Ono, U, like with the with the small U, with the so S O, and then Ono. So I tell people, man, it's kind of like a I don't know, it's kind of like a hmm, how would you how would you call those little those bylongs, whatever, and then you know, because uh, one of the sisters, man, that's um. Everyone knows about this place called Kalihi here in um, Oahu. Oh, and oh, wow. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, we just had a we just had our first event, man. Not sure if you've seen it. My post, um, it's called uh, "Eat This um, Taste of Kalihi." Taste of Kalihi, and that was our our, our first event. We sold like almost ninety percent of our stuff. I I make like corned beef spaghetti, mm -hmm. um, corned beef loco moco. Um, my friend, she did her um, lumpia stuff, her fried salmon. You know, and the bentos, she does her, um, um, you know, like the uh, shrimp boil, crab boil and all that. But she mm -hmm. puts in a little bento, man. So she does like local style. And, and uh, we sold almost majority of our stuff, man. And, uh, dude, uh, it, it was good. It was, a good. it was a good hit, man. So, yeah, man, uh, what you call it? If you guys want to follow us on Instagram, man, it's called Uso Ono or Uso Goods Food and Wagon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what does Ono come from? Ono means delicious in Hawaiian. Oh, no. There you go. So you got to remember, I'm in Kentucky. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I got you, man. Them, I want to educate them, too, because first of all, yeah. Uso, like I always tell the listeners, Uso is like mine. U-C-E, a slang, and it's brother, bro, yeah. darling. Hey there, buddy. There you go. You just been educated by the Y-O's podcast. If you enjoy our content, we ask you to please follow us, subscribe to our channel, and spread the news to your friends and family if you find value in our content. We are not sponsored by anybody. We are accepting sponsorship. But for the meantime, we have put together merchandise that we sell on our website at yoos.com. Anything that you purchase will help keep this running. You have a yoos in you. Now let's get back to it. Can you let our viewers, <laughs> can you let the listeners uh, know what swamp meat is? Because I'm pretty sure a lot of our guys out here don't even know what that means. Can you describe, you know, what swamp meat is? Yeah, so swamp meat is a, uh, yeah, swamp meat is where, like, a, a place where a lot of, mar it's a place where there's a lot of tents. It's mm -hmm. at the Aloha Stadium. Um a lot of people would know this uh, once they get to Hawaii because, you know, a lot, I'm sure the first question, one of the first questions that a lot of tourists would ask is, where do I go to get some things, you know, to get some yeah. cheap souvenirs and everything else. And that's where we go to swap meet at the Aloha Stadium, everybody. Um, they are open on Saturdays, Sundays and Wednesdays, but we are usually there every Sundays. So, yeah, selling my e lava lavas, you know, maybe my tuna dip. My friend, she crochets, so she's crocheting, you know, her outfits and everything else. And with her, with her mother, the kakainos, um, get all her Hawaiian and Polynesian gifts, man. Any, you know, so pretty much we have a tent full of just Polynesian stuff, you know. And what's the name Samoan. of it? Is it the Uso Ono? That's the that's the uh, the tent name. Uh, well, the tent is what we call it. We just call it uh, Pikake's Palace <laughs> because um, what you call it, the ante. The, the tent is under, is her. So, man, we just collaborate, man, under that tent. So, we just call it Pikaki's Palace. Sometimes I'll just, um, we just call it 13C. That's that's our that's our tent section. So, yeah. <laughs> located at 13C, look out for Pikaki. Is it Pikaki or Pikaki? Pikaki. <laughs> Pikaki. And, of course, we're going to go ahead. Don't forget to text me that, too. Oops. <laughs> we'll post that on the description and also, you know, on the, on the what is it? The uh, like I only made a fucking uh, content, uh, the yeah, yeah. Fucking, uh, you know, whatever you, subtitle. There you go, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go, subtitle, yes, yes, the subtitle. <laughs> and then, uh, Ia Lava Lava to the listeners out there, Ia Lava Lava is what you see the, the, the skirt, the skirt that we wear all the time, you know, 
That's what the yeah. love of love means in our language, you know. So there you go, man. Yep. It's a yep. It's a it's a it's not a sex. Well, what would you call it? It's a asexual thing where men and women can wear it. You know, women. You know, you can wear it. Whatever. As a guys, we can wear. It. Unisex? Is that what it is? Unisex. There we go. Yes. Unisex. Excuse us. Yeah, yeah. Excuse me. Yeah. Unisex. There you go. Because I know a lot of people, they come and they're like, can we get your surrounds? And I'm just like, oh, well, yeah, you can call it that, but we call it ear love a love with here. Um, auntie or uncle, you know. Oh, what do they call it over there? What's another word out there they use it for? Like Hawaii? Well, I think, uh, they, well, you know, they, they you know, because. Samoa is a big thing here in Hawaii, right? Obviously, it's like second nature, right? So they know it's an ear lava lava here. Yes. But I think when the tourists come down here, right, we're just trying to educate them. It's like, yes, it's called a sarong, but sarong is mostly like uh, things that people like Jamaica's, you know, Jamaicans make. It's kind of like our stuff, man, but it's like, it's, it's different. Like it's like a tie-dye. It's, it's like, like a tie-dye. Yeah. That's, that's what I think that that's why a lot of people get confused, right? Because it's kind of like a tie dye sarong in a way. I mean, it is a sarong, but at the same time, ours is like it's a different material, man. It's like sometimes it's more thinner, it's more thicker, and it's kind of like a, you can really, you know. And of course, people would always say, like, is that like a shower curtain? I'm like, no, um, no. <laughs> so, you know what, guys? Uh, to the listeners, we don't have goats or sheep, man. So it's made from. <laughs> I don't know where, but <laughs> it's made from some kind of special whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It ain't made from sheep and goat. I could be wrong. <laughs> it's made by a fine material that you can only find in Samoa, yo. Please, Samoan tuna dip on Instagram. Um, if you guys want to make some orders, I'm working on that to to ship it long distance as of now. Um, other than that, I'm working on this uh, food truck, food wagon, man. Um, we got a we got an event coming up, the same event that we had um, two Saturdays ago. We have an event coming up um, next month, the second Saturday. Mm -hmm. So if you guys are ever in Hawaii, man, uh, eat the street kalihi, we'll be right there. So yeah, man, come on down. Damn, that's what's up. And then, so it sounds to me it's an order on demand, right? Is that yeah. what's going on right yeah, now? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. So if somebody like myself orders from Kentucky, man, how, how long would it take? Maybe three months? Hopefully, yeah. You know, because you know how, Less you know than how three we months. do, man. It's like I'll go up to, yeah, right? I'll go to FedEx, UPS, or find out which is the faster route. And uh, yeah, man, I'll just talk to some person on the counter and be like, hey, man, how long is this going to take to go to my cousin? <laughs> you know, like, oh, uh, it's going to be like, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then X amount of days, X amount of whatever. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We got some family members out there at the post office. So I will let them know. Hey, I'm going to be the <laughs> Special go. whatever priority, my man, man. Your inspiration can make an impact in our community and everyone out there. You're a content creator, small business owner, entrepreneur, or even in a career to contact us. We would love to have you on our platform. You have a why in you. Now let's get back to it. It's been a journey, man. You know, uh, it's uh, I, I just, man, I, I just tell people this, man. It's like, you know, you know, like, man, go, go, go for it, bro. Like, you know, like I've always, you know, man, you know how our culture is, man. Like we, I tell a lot of people, man, our men, we do the cooking. Right. Like, yes, there, there ain't a time that we do not cook, man. We don't just cook for ourselves. We cook for a village, man. Even if it's just two of us in the apartment or, you know, just, you know, if you're on a date or whatever. But if you're cooking, man, you're cooking for everybody. You know, it's like because we cooking, make sure that you are fed from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. <laughs> you know, yeah, man. And, you know, I just uh, I just tell a lot of people, man, it's like, hey, just go for it, man. I was like, you know, I'm here as a as an entrepreneur just trying to make it, man, just like. Just many of you guys out there, man. Whether it's TikTok, YouTube, whatever platform you got to use, man, we're all here to support each other. And you know, man, I, I and I like seeing a lot of Samoans, man, and a lot of Polynesians, man, coming up with some stuff, man. Because I was like, dude, a lot of people haven't seen our food. I mean, they they have seen our stuff, but they really haven't tried our clothing, our food, and everything else. And it's man, it's um, and it's it's. It's really touching to the heart and skin, man. Like, you know, seeing Polynesians all over, man, like rising up, especially like in the famous area, like in Bay Area, you know, like you, man, coming up in the East Coast, man, where we were at one time, it, man, it was, it was unknown, right? It was unknown to us. Like, man, we could, could we do this? Like, nah, man, we're just known as the island people, man. We just climb coconuts. Yeah. And, 
yeah, just dance. Dancing was like our only thing, man. Now it's like it's just more we're we're pushing it more than entertainment, man, and stuff, man. And and also with that, man, just doing I'm I'm dabbling in a little bit of that, man. I, I'm trying to, you know, you know the Moana, the new Moana that's coming out, the live. Did you get a Moana. gig? Dude, I, you know me, man. I'm just one out of many some ones, man. Just trying, but hey, I'm trying, man. I'm just putting up my application over there, man. You know, I, I grew my long, I grew my hair, so you know, a lot of people still call me, hey, man, you look like Maui. I was like, I hope so. You know, I'm just missing the tattoo, so. <laughs> you know, all that could be uh, added to it, bro. Exactly right. You know, so yeah, hopefully our cousin The Rock, you know, can uh, can get us in. <laughs> By the way, speaking of the rocks, my listeners, uh, no, we're not related to the rock because if we was, we wouldn't be doing what we're doing right now. So not all <laughs> Samoans are related to the rock. And if they say they are, they're pretty much lying to y'all. <laughs> you know <what> I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, our parents can say that, right? Like our parents can be like, oh, yeah, Sole is the, is the son of so and so. And it's like, oh, yeah, you know, it just stops with that generation, right? I mean, when it comes to yeah. us, it's like, you know, the blood is very. Thin. <laughs> I was like, because I don't see no wealth coming this way. <laughs> <laughs> right? I don't see him knocking on my door. I, I, I still have yet to receive a, a, a Christmas card. So <laughs> there you go, man. And uh, real quick, Usa, before I let you go, brother, I got I was asking around right in Kentucky, right? So it's pretty cool because um, there there's not a lot of Samoans here. I could be wrong, then don't hold me. I could be wrong again, some uh, polys. So don't hold me accountable, man. I'm just. Telling y'all what I see and what I'm being, you know, being surrounded by. I asked them, you know, what is what is it that you want to hear from Puni Moore on the podcast? Two things stood out to me, but I'm only going to cover one with you, being that you're mm-hmm. signed more, right? Yeah. It was the question was, what is the difference of American sign more and sign more? Because my man did not even realize that there was all different kinds. And another thing is we are not part of Hawaii. We're actually, it's our own island, even though we're all in the same Pacific, bro. So what do you think, you know, from your own understanding, man? Man, I, man, dude, I get asked this all the time, man, what? especially here in, yeah, especially here in Hawaii, man. You know, I mean, I think a lot of people try to look for that knowledge or just look for that understanding, man. And, you know, I'm, I'm a person, man, just like you, I'm a person of teaching you know i like to educate people i ain't trying to shame people you know dude it's crazy how there's a lot of people that just shame on people just because you know if my my brother to my left and my sister to my right who's also someone same blood as me Mm -hmm. same skin color as me you know if they don't know how to speak someone i'm gonna teach you i was like i'm I'm gonna teach you from a b and c you know that's Mm -hmm. how i am you know that's how we are and you know like i ain't the one to be like oh man you can't speak someone (laughs) ha ha no Man, it's like, you know, I just tell people that, man. Like, hey, man, don't be doing that, man. Come on, man. We're all here to shine together. We're all here to learn mm-hmm. from one another. But, you know, so just breaking it down. So I just tell people. So if you guys want to know, American Samoa, we are in the U.S. national territory of the United States. So as you can say, American Samoa under the American flag. Western Samoa independent. You know, they're, they're by themselves. You know, they're influenced by Germany and New Zealand. You know standards so i mean they really are their own two feet and i think according to american standards when they come here you know they're illegal illegal immigrants and they got to go through a whole lot of paperwork to fly over to here to us in american Samoa. well not just to hawaii but from american Samoa first and then you know onto hawaii and to the mainland because a lot of people you know they don't know that hawaii is part of the united states you know which is it's kind of a good and a bad thing man because um <laughs> I don't know who's going to be watching this, but the bad thing is, you know, if people kid did kind of know that we're part of the United States, then they'd be judging us, right, about the, about what the whole world looks at America right now, nowadays, right? Correct. But the good, but yeah, and the good thing about it is that, you know, a lot of people, they're ignorant, they're, you know, ignorant to a good point where they come to Hawaii, they don't see the United States flag, right? They don't see America, America all over, even though we do have the American flag all over a lot of buildings and construction and blah, blah, blah. But man, you ask any European or whatever um, international person that comes here to Hawaii, they're just going to be like, oh, no, you guys are an island. Oh, yeah, you guys are an island. I love your island. Yeah, I love it. They don't say, we don't, we love your state. We love your state. We love your 50C. And Dude, it's crazy, man, that a lot of people that live in America don't know that 
still don't know that Hawaii is the 58th state. I think a lot of people think that Alaska is the 50th, which if they did their homework, you know, <laughs> uh, or they think Puerto Rico is the 58th state or they think Mexico is the 58th state. And, the, you know, sometimes you just got to leave it at that, man. It's like, okay, all right, whatever, man. Just um, sometimes ignorance is bliss, man, and you just got to – it on, but then if people want to know more about our people alone, man, what's the what differentiates between people from American Samoa and Western Samoa? That's pretty much the basis of it, right? Like, um, like I, I always tell my friends, man, it's like, dude, like, like if I have an uncle, which we all do, that's in Western Samoa, he cannot come and see me here in Hawaii unless he, you know, we go over there do a paperwork because he's called a legal, you know, he's a legal immigrant and. I I touch it to the point where they can relate in the mainland. Like if someone is from Kentucky in the mainland, like, you know, for them to relate, I'll just be like, well, okay, man, like say you, like, you know, shout out to my Hispanic people, man, you know, that, you know, you're Mexican living in Texas, right? Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. You got an uncle and auntie, people that live in Mexico, right? They can't come over because obviously, right, like they're an alien, they're illegal, you know, they they gotta they gotta do some paperwork that takes a long time to process to come on over and that's basically what it is right and that's basically what it is but you know in in the world standing we are all Samoans we speak one language you know just to get it clear for everybody you know we speak one language we don't have many dialects like a lot of <laughs> other cultures do you know there ain't no Western Samoan dialect and there ain't no American Samoan dialect. However, there is a different in in the accent though, you know? Mm -hmm. And I think this is where I get a lot of the ladies attention. <laughs> I was like, American people from American Samoa will sound like me. But mm -hmm. the people from uh, Western Samoa will sound like James Bond Samoan. And oh, when I say that, they're just like, oh, what? It's like, hello, shake it to talo for love so you Exactly, right? Mm -hmm. Man, I tell you, man, I tell that to all my homegirls, man. They just be like, so, bro, when are you going to take us to uh, Samoa? Well, you, you know, I'm like, I was like, oh, man, trust me. If I take you back to the motherland, you would not leave. <laughs> you wouldn't want to leave. And those men wouldn't want you to leave as well. <laughs> I, lo I love the explanation, man. And just, you know, just for whatever, uh, to not disrespect our... Upolu folks, uh, it is currently known as Samoa, not Western Samoa. I believe they went independent in the late 90s, I want to say, or maybe early 2000s. I, I, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm from American Samoa. You know, I apologize for both of us, if, you know, because Samoa yeah. people do take that to heart, you yeah. know, but we are just, uh, understand, we are, first of all, this platform does not claim that we are educated and professionals. We're just you know, a podcast that's just sharing our knowledge and then people that are friends that we bring on is just, you know, educating our viewers for those in the whole people like my folks, like my sons, folks like uh, both of our friends and stuff like that, that wants to do something different. Just know, hey, man, this brown dude's able to do it, too. We're just educating y'all for our knowledge. Cause, you know, it's the Internet. People like to disclaimer. Everything we say is just our own opinion. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> exactly yeah and you're, you're right about that man they uh i i i, I, know, I forgot about that where yeah they they don't want it to be called western samoa Correct. anymore it's just called samoa and not only that they changed their time right so it's like they're yeah, they time. Mm -hmm. yeah they used to they used to be just like an hour behind or two hours behind. Now they're like what, like a, a, day. a day, right? I believe they're a like day. A, they're like a day ahead now. Yeah, and so, big ups to them, man. Big ups to Samoa yeah, because y'all like representing us really well around the world. You know what I'm saying? We're doing our best here in America, you know. But yeah, yeah folks, I appreciate you answering. You know your point of view. You pretty much covered what I was going to say too. I just want to say that because uh, some of the questions a lot. We're somewhat like Hawaii. We have different islands. I don't know. Kukuila probably has what? Manua. Manu was the only one away from Kukuila, right? You got yep, Manu, yep. which is two islands. So maybe yep. five or six. And then, yep. you know, Ta'u, Manolo. Yep. 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 And then, and then but Samoa has two or maybe three. So Upolo and I think another island. I could be wrong. Yeah, I think but, another island. Yeah, yeah. But those two big ones. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Upolo. So, yeah. <laughs> 
I know, man. But yeah, man. We are American Samoan uh, resident. I mean, what do you call it? Were you national? Were you born in Samoa or born out uh, American Samoa? I, I, I was born here in Hawaii. Oh, same there. Same here. Was Honolulu, yeah. Hawaii. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. You know, my mom wanted to get that U.S. citizenship. Woo. <laughs> so, yeah. So, those, uh, I believe it's only, so, like he mentioned, if I also had mentioned uh, we're a U.S. territory, I believe there's six or seven. Guam, Puerto Rico, and some other islands, yeah, you know. Yep, yeah. Virgin Islands, all that. Yeah, so yeah. we're part of that U.S. territory. So American Samoa too, we're a U.S. national, which is uh, we're. I think the only difference is we don't vote, unless yep. you were born in America, like me and us here. You know, we're born, so we're yeah. citizens. Uh, I think the fastest way that a lot of the American Samoa people get it is the. Uh, I think all you got to do is swear in. I think that's, but I've only heard that from military side. I don't know how it is on the civilian side. How does how how does that all happen? You know, but. Yeah. yeah, Oos, man, that's that's good, bro. That's all I got right now, brother. Man, I, I'm really all impressed right. by your your hustle, man. I was speaking very highly of you too. I think you did a little bit of uh, role play out there, you know. I mean, as an actor and stuff. And he, he was yeah. doing some of that stuff back then, a few years. Back. Yeah, um, yeah. I was um I was doing a lot of um extras, man, for Hawaii Five O. Nice. Um, Magnum PI. Um, also on the Netflix special, uh, Finding Ohana. So. Totally. I was one of I was one of those uh, the warriors man, but I was uh, my body wasn't built that way, so I was in the back. <laughs> well, what's what, what, what's the name on on the credits, man? Because you know you gotta there's always facts on it, bro. All those little things matter, buddy. You know what I mean? I have a cousin that wants to be an actor, so these are the kind of stuff that he wants to hear. You know what I'm saying? What's your name? Who's the act? What's your you know your whole name, bro? Uh, Francis Tuli Galuval, man. And so yeah, it. I think they just put us like you know one of those little itty bitty words in the back that like that, that just goes too fast, so. <laughs> That's all right, man. But yeah, That's all man. Right, you know, we just you know we just try to we should try to do whatever we can out here, man. And uh, um, hopefully Moana, you know, can. But you know, it's just kind of hard with the with the day to day schedule, man. And, you know, and uh, I know I know they're looking for people to portray uh, the village people of Motunui, and you know a lot of. A lot of my friends, man, just like, dude, you look like you, man, you look like you can be Maui, man. I was like, you look like you can be Maui's cousin. I was like, I know, but I think it's just the uh, the time and the schedule of things, right? You know, and of course, someone would be like, well, that you shouldn't be doubting yourself. And I was like, well, yeah, man, but you know, I wish I can, you know, have someone pay my bills while I go do that. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. That's the. Uh... That's a tough part, man. Even for me as a podcaster, uh, it's the balance of time. You know, I really appreciate you because when when you were reaching out, I'm like, oh, man, I might be able to record with my oos. You know what I'm saying? I'm normally past the hours that I'm so it's already late out here. It's like 10 p.m. out here on the East Coast. But, the, uh, you know, just, to, you know, we got to do what we got to do. Right, brother? But before I let you go, man, let's say who is the producer? I forgot the name of the producer that's going to be producing the uh, Moana. Well, let's just say, uh, let's just say for for namesake, right? He's watching us, right? Go yeah. ahead, man. So, uh, what are the characters that you're trying to act out, man? Go ahead. This is your shot, baby. <laughs> well, shout out to Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Obviously, you know he he's mm -hmm. producing the thing. I mean, seven dollars, seven dollars, uh, seven dollar production. Yeah. And yeah, man. And you know, I just try to. I'm just trying to get a. I'm just trying to get in the camera. You know, like, you know, do like my Siva. And everything, man. It's like, oh, it's you. It's like, yeah, chee yeah, and all that. But you know, I know they were hosting a lot of a um, lot of auditions here, man, um, down the street from but where I'm at. You, but which just... character are you trying to go for? You say you're trying to go for Maui. Oh, dude, that. <laughs> well, I mean, I know the Ross got Maui, but then I'm just trying to be one of the village people. That's all, man. And there's a there's a there was a thing on the, they posted on Instagram and all the social media platform that. Um, mm -hmm. If they like you and you do look like the the part of the people, right? Like in the remember, like in the, the cartoon, yes. they will they will fly you into Atlanta, where they're doing the whole production. They'll fly you out there to Atlanta for two to three months. Everything all paid for, room and board. But Atlanta, I was like, Georgia. Yeah, exactly. Dude, that's like literally what three hours Down away the... from me. I think <laughs> hey, you should go, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they'll put a wig on you and be like, all right, man, just stay like that. <laughs> the 
problem about yeah. your ears, man. You know how the the, the teleprompt man go fire sing away by fire go all over my ears. Yeah, man. Um, I think uh, there's a thing. Uh, I I'm not sure what it is, man. But then I think according to the production, man, I like you know don't like for all those out there listening, man. Don't quote me on, on this, but then I you know just hearsay because I got a lot of friends in the production team and everything, and you know I think uh, here in Hawaii it was they were kind of restricted on people you know doing the auditioning and the producing of everything so and i think that's why it's actually much cheaper in a way to do it you know to do the movie in the mainland i would say this is what i'm hearing you know from atlanta georgia so i think that's why you know it, it was kind of it was, it was surprising where we saw that where they would fly you up to atlanta georgia i was like atlanta georgia i was like is that the no, the new moto movie <laughs> But you know, we just you know heard for the great vibe that I think that's the studio where everything's going to happen. And, so they're, yeah. they're trying to have it at Tyler Perry Studio because the only one I, <laughs> I guess, dude. I was just I was just thinking about that. I was like, the same studio that Tyler Perry's using. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't know I any think. other studio out there, but then again, that's not my field. But that's interesting, man. You said when is it? Going? It's like what three months from now? Yeah, man. I think. Uh, so I just kind of put my thing out there, man, and they said that they'll call you, and if you get chosen, they'll fly you up there, man, from June, July, and August, pay for everything. All you do is just do your thing, you dance, be part of the production, the food, they'll feed you, take care of your room and board, stay at the hotel, and uh, yeah, man. And to me, I was kind of like, man, I'm not sure if I can get the two to three month absence from work, you know? <laughs> I haven't really, you know, saved up that much vacation time for mm-hmm. my day job to get that but i mean if i was to ever be picked and you know if it if it really was my choice i'd be telling the producer be like hey can you uh this might be a two to three year thing for me so you know like so i can actually kind of leave the 20 you know leave the day job <laughs> if that was the case i mean i'm just saying Hey, well, good luck on that, man. I mean, like I said, who's it? Now that you're shot, bro, because I could post this on. Let's just have everybody share this, bro. That you oh. are throwing your shot. Ooh, you know what I'm saying? It might reach the producer, John Acapo. Shout out to John Acapo. Make sure you let uh, your ooze know and let everybody else uh, share this so we can. Yes, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Especially the Anawati family. You know what I'm saying? Check it out. Let my ooze get through. You know what I mean? Right, right. <laughs> so if you had your shot, like I said, Oos, imagine, pretend I'm your producer, right? What yeah. is it that you got to do? You got to what? Ten, what is it? A minute or something that they give you? Yeah, something like a minute. Um, I think uh, you play like a three to five bit or uh, maybe a, a minute or three minutes of you just seeing some more, man, or dancing. Oh, so you, you just know you're how to talking dance. about just the dance. Okay. Yeah. Do you Remember have that one material? time? Uh, do you have any material already on IG or anything like that? Oh, no, man. I, uh, my material is when I was a lot skinnier and everything else. But uh, this was uh, t- back in 2011 when I used to see the Samoa a lot back in school. But uh, <laughs> I mean, I mean, I, you know us, man, it's natural that yeah. comes to us. man. I mean, I can I can see the Samoa for a minute or three through our little fuck up Bucky and everything. But, you know, I mean, yeah, man, that's pretty much it, what they're looking for. And I mean, yeah, we maybe we. Maybe it can go down that line, but I mean, there's so many options, so many things to do, you know. That's what's up, boss. But man, I'm not gonna hold you up, bro. I just wanted to share. I'm trying to install this new segment on the episode. You know, uh, yes. it's the uh, what they call this? I don't know what shit. Affirmation. Here's an affirmation <laughs> for y'all before we close it out, man. With my man Alpha Uso and myself, we must accept the end of something in order to begin something new, y'all. Take that how you want to take it, folks. And I'm your boy, Puni Moa. Fauso. And we out, baby. Bye, baby. <laughs>